is the MISL Weekend Preview. My name is Nicholas Murray, very pleased to be joined by Chris Economides as we take a look ahead to this weekend's action across the league, starting on Friday night as we head to the Independence Events Center where the Missouri Comets host the Pennsylvania Roar. Now the Comets, slightly off track last weekend offensively against the Baltimore Blast, fell to Baltimore for the second time this season. Obviously this is a big opportunity for them to maybe get Vahid Asad Paul back in the lineup and maybe get that offense back on track as they look to close out the final five games of the season build some momentum towards the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, if you look at th this game overall, you know, it shouldn't be much of a game, but, you know, Pennsylvania's been playing pretty well lately, getting their first win a couple of weeks back against the St. Louis Ambush. Vahid Asapur could be the, stir the, the straw that stirs the drink mm -hmm. for the Comets. Um, again, not that he was this, this only piece of the puzzle that wasn't available um, against the Blast, but it was a whole different Missouri Comets team. The Comets now need to get into playoff mode, Obviously, you know, they're going to qualify for the playoffs. So what better way to start getting into that mode than against the Pennsylvania Roar this weekend? Well, on Saturday night, we head to the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester as the Lancers host the Syracuse Silver Knights in a continuation of the I-90 derby. Now, this game, this series, had been going Syracuse's way for a while, but the Lancers took victory last time out, and they must win in order to keep their playoff hopes alive on Saturday night. Are they, have they got a shot to do it? Oh, I think they do, absolutely. You know, it's this anytime that these two teams meet, Nicholas, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a war out there. You know, as I've, I've said on the podcast, these two teams could be playing tiddlywinks against each other, and they're still going to, you know, go at it toe to toe. So, I expect nothing, nothing different at all this game. I expect a, you know, a very close game. And it wouldn't surprise me in the least if Rochester came out on top. Well, Syracuse can clinch a playoff place with a victory, so that is the big game this weekend. Then on Sunday, the Pennsylvania Roar complete their Midwest road trip as they head up to face the Milwaukee Wave. And Milwaukee, this is effectively their game in hand on the Baltimore Blast. It's obviously an important game for them to win, make sure that they hold a one-game lead with four games to go, hold on to that top seed in the playoffs. Again, very similar to the Missouri game, Pennsylvania is going to be, a, you know, let's be honest here, a, you know, a huge underdog. Milwaukee unbeaten at home, you know, obviously playing some great soccer, a tremendous road trip last weekend, going into both Syracuse and Rochester, winning, you know, twice there. So, uh, you know, on paper, it looks like Milwaukee shouldn't have any problem. But, you know, again, Pennsylvania could be a very dangerous team, you know, an old, an old adage. That's why they play the games. Anything can happen, and I'm sure Keith Toes will have his club ready to go. Certainly will be. Well, we hope you join us for all of the games this weekend on YouTube, and we hope you join us next Tuesday as we take a look back on the weekend's action. Until then, though, for Chris, my name's Nicholas. Thanks for joining us.